Now I know that I had said you're not going to be seeing part two for a couple of weeks. Well just sort of consider this to be an extension of part number one. Anyway, being as I had to glue those other three pieces up this morning, I just wanted to show you something. I can quite well imagine that there's somebody out there in YouTube land watching this and they're thinking to themselves, why didn't he do it yesterday if he knew how to do it? Well, his mind was on his clock, not on what he was doing. Now there is something I gotta tell you about those blue clamps. I bought them because they were really, really cheap. Well, they're really, really cheap. I wish that I'd spent the extra money now and got more of the orange ones. Anyway, I've got them. I would say that probably 25% of them actually slowly slip on me. It's a real nuisance. You gotta keep going and checking and replacing. Yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess. Okay. That's just to let you know that I do know how to glue it up and use the calls. And, uh... Yeah, I know people have recommended salt to keep the pieces from sliding around together. I don't know, I'm uncomfortable with that. This works really good for me if I remember to set up to do it, which I didn't do yesterday. Yeah. Oh, another thing. You probably heard me say, you can never have too many clamps. I've still got one left. Actually, three left. There's two over there on the table yet. <laughs> Anyway, just thought I'd show you I do know how to do it right. It is my plan to not be touching these things for a couple of weeks now. Let them dry out really good. Now back to the clock. <laughs> <laughs>